Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a shop my stash. I go through some of the drawers after they've been decluttered, a little more reorganized. I show you how I am now starting to like organize my eyeshadow palettes, which needed to be done. Them being stuck in drawers was irking my nerves. So we did that today and we got this look. Before we jump into it though, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see what products we used and how I got this look and what's in my makeup collection, just keep watching. Okay, so we gotta pick out items to use. And this is my primer drawer. I've been talking about Cali Ray. I've got Complex Culture. I've recently used the NYX Plump Right Back. I don't think I've used the Ciate London Dewy Skin recently. I'm thinking this and my Tarte Timeless. All right, change of plan. We're gonna do the Professional Hydrate Primer for foundation and concealer, because now I've kind of combined them. I just, I picked this up from Amazon. I'm seeing if I like it before I actually like stick it into place. And there's part of me that does like it because it takes up less drawers, but then I also just move my eyeshadow palettes out of the drawers so I have more room. But I don't know that my concealers need a whole drawer to themselves. All right, so looking at some of the foundations, the ones that I haven't used recently, like I don't think I've used Fenty in a while. I also use this mostly in like the summer. Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrated Hydrating Gel Cream Cashew. Yep, I think I'm gonna stick with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. See how I like it. And then for concealers, let's see. If we're doing a tinted hydrating gel, I just picked up Tarte again. We've got item. Let's see. Oh, I haven't used one size in a while. We'll do this one. I do like this one a lot from uh, Patrick Star. Into the powders, I've been using Huda Beauty nonstop. I have Laura Mercier on my table, which I used yesterday, which figured we're not using that today. But thinking about these ones that I have in here, I haven't used kimchi in a while. I did say I need to use the Ciate London ones again, which let's see, Extraordinary and Everyday Vacay. Let's do extraordinary. Okay, bronzers. <laughs> we just reorganized this drawer during the declutter. And this is what survived. So the Marc Jacobs, Morphe. Let's see what else is down here. That one's Jacqueline. This one's Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'll pull this out and see. And then just in case, I'll grab a powder. Let's see, Fantasy Makers, that's a little warm toned. I haven't used it recently. Let's try that one. And for contour, Kevin Aquan. Into one of the two highlighter drawers. I just got this one, which is the Champagne Glow. Really like that one. But then we also have a couple of these. Ooh, I haven't used this brick from Flower Beauty in a while. Let's use this one. But this is what the reorganized drawers looks like for right now. Okay, blush. Just picked these up, used that a couple of days ago. Item Beauty, this was in one of the subscription boxes from Moira. This is that like blush topper. Let's try this out today, but I need to find a blush to go with it. Ooh, Krista from Benefit. If I can get it to open. It is so bright. I think that's the one I wanna use. Okay, now eyeshadows. I've taken one of your guys' suggestions and gotten bookshelves. This, <laughs> Don't mind this corner, I'm in the middle of reorganizing them. They're not all over here. There's still some in the drawers, but it's a start. Luke and I spent one night putting these together and it feels so much better to look at them and kind of go, oh, this is what I've got. And I can actually see their spines and I know who they are. Like all the way in the back there, I've got all the ColourPop square ones that are nine pans. I've got some of the bigger ColourPop. There's one size, Morphe. Up on the top here, we have Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm just, I'm getting a better feel for it. I do have two bookshelves. I don't think I'm gonna fill it completely, but there's gotta be something in here. Let's see, is this the, I don't think I've ever used the Jackie Ina 
on camera. Let's see, what does this color story look like? I like this one. Or let's see, what else do I have? I have all of these little ones back here. I just did a purple look, so I don't really want to use one of these. So jaded. I think this is what Kathleen lights. Ooh, that's really pretty. I still like the Jackie Ina though, because I haven't used it. I don't know. These are all Juvia's Place. And then Huda Beauty on the far right. Down here are some of my bigger palettes from like Glam Light, Morphe, Juvia's Place, Danessa Myricks, which this one is stunning. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick with Jackie Ina. This one for the win. Oh, I love the palette casing for it. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm looking at this palette and I honestly never swatched it. The packaging itself is beautiful. I love this. This is the color story and honestly, I literally just took the cover from the mirror and the plastic from the eyeshadows off. I probably purchased it during my hiatus from YouTube. I had started and then I took a break. I got really busy with work. Okay, so those are four of the shades. I'm not gonna swatch every single one of them. I'll swatch the palette and pop in some extra like bits and pieces. Those are those four shades. And then there's actually two that I'm looking at. These right here. I kind of want to use those today. This one is Sponsored, which is kind of like a scarab shade. And then Trust Issues, which is kind of like a gold white. I'll swatch those right there. This is very fall vibes for me. They're not cool toned. They're a little more warmer. So I think I do want to use the Scarab looking shade Sponsored and I'm going to stick with the brown shades as kind of like my base. I'm going to start with the shade Ginger. This brown is really pretty. It kind of has like an orangey hue to it. I like how it blended out. It's more of a orangey brick shade, not whereas edges is more like a reddish brown. I'm not trying to do anything too elaborate. I'm gonna use the shade Credit, which is the darkest brown shade in here. I'm gonna use my compacted smudge brush for that shade. Like I said, I'm not making anything too difficult. I do like the browns and deeper shades. So I just kinda wanna, it is a fun palette, it is colorful but I do want to play with that Scarab shade. I did start watching a new show, <laughs> The Mayfair Witches on AMC. Anyone else watching it? Do you like it? What are your thoughts? I'm only into the second episode. So far I like it. Um, I've always liked, what is it? The other one that they brought back is Interview with the Vampire as a series, which is Anne Rice. I didn't add any extra product to my fluffy brush. I just wanted to kind of blend out the edges. I'm gonna go into the shade Sponsored, which is that Scarab shade. I don't usually apply makeup with this one, but then someone made a comment. One of my friends are like, you know when you use your middle finger, it's like you're flicking people off. And I'm like, that's not my intentions. It just, it fits better in this area. I'm sorry if you felt like I was flicking you off. I wasn't trying to. So I will use my pointer finger and try and break the habit. I'm gonna go into the shade Trust Issues, which is that white that has kind of like a gold shift and apply this on my ring finger. But let me know your thoughts. Do you like historical shows? Do you like the idea of witches and vampires and all of that? Because I find them interesting. That is an interesting combo. I'm gonna use my dense packing brush and just on the outer edge, a sponsored with no extra product. All right, let me do this eye. I'll be back for everything else that I picked out. Okay, now to finish everything else. I have the Benefit Professional Primer. I've used this before. I wasn't originally like super impressed with it, but then talking to the girl who does my brows cause she worked for Benefit Brow Bar. She told me that I need to press it into the skin, not like smear it on because otherwise it peels off. Peels off? which I'm not the type to just sit and tap it into my skin. This feels weird to me and I feel like I'm missing parts of it. I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit. 
And then Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I have shade Cashew 3.5. This was in a subscription box. I'm gonna take a little on my finger and see. It's a bit pale. This is why I like having my drawers right here. We're going to grab the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Just to give a little bit of color over this. Not a lot, just in some areas before I put the tinted moisturizer on. And I just use the same brush that I'm gonna use my foundation or use for my foundation. Nothing too precise because I had to put my foundation on top of it anyways. It feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like super heavy. We'll see how it goes with setting powder. And even then with like the halo glow, it kind of gives that sheen. Right now I'm looking crazy. All right, concealer, I pulled the one size and then setting powder, I've got the Extraordinary Translucent Powder from Ciate London. I have mine in shade light one. Oh, back on conversation. What are your favorite shows to watch? Cause I feel like I keep watching the same things over and over and over again. Also the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in Amber. I've used it before. I just don't remember if I liked it. I'm gonna dip this around the frame before I set it with powder. I kind of like how this looks. It's nothing too crazy. I haven't like blended it down, but so far I like it. Okay, and then into the Ciate London, which is like pale, translucent. Press out the creases under the eye, because those are not my favorite. The one thing I will say, it did not sink into my lines that bad, which I appreciate. Ugh, I don't think I'm super in love with the moisturizer gel cream. Like I can see everything through right there. Granted, I'm gonna put blush on. I'll wait till all my makeup is done to make my final decisions. All right, to finish off the eye before we go into anything else, I'm gonna go into the shade Ginger. This I'm gonna use my little smudging brush for. Take up just a smidge, tap it into place because it is a very concentrated color and I don't want it to be like too orangey under the eyes. I'm gonna go into the shade Credit. Also a small smudge brush until I pick up my larger compacted smudger. I am gonna contour pretty quickly with my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. I need to find another contour. Kevin Aquan had been sold at Sephora. I haven't looked to see if it's still sold online, but I know it's not sold at Sephora or it wasn't when I looked last time. But it is one of my favorite contour shades. And then for bronzer, I have the Fantasy Makers from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Dust to Dawn. It's a little bit on the warmer side, just to kind of like go over the cream bronzer, which I feel like is just an extra step that I don't necessarily need, but just an added touch. My hair is looking crazy because I haven't just like tousled the curls yet. Okay, and then for blush, we have the Benefit Krista blush. This one is so bright. Dupe, dupe, <laughs> dupe. Why? Why would I do that? I guess it really doesn't matter that the benefit or that the bare minerals didn't like cancel out my redness because I just put it all back in. I'm gonna use my damp sponge on that to just kind of blend it out a little bit because holy cow. We're just gonna use a damp sponge to just kind of press it into the skin and tone it down a little bit. 
All right. Also, I have the loose powder highlighter in Charleston, which I'm gonna kind of use as a like blush topper. This may just be like a big shiny ball. This is what it looks like from the top. I'm gonna grab some of it, and just place it. It just gives it a little pretty sheen. And then for highlighter, I have the Flower Pyramids in Rose Glow, which is absolutely stunning. I usually play around with this part of it, not so much the pinky shades. So I'm gonna first use it for inner corner and I'm just gonna stick with this area right here because you've got the champagne and the white. And then I think I'm gonna do kind of like right through here, even down into the pink a little bit, just to kind of get some pinkiness for this. I'm so glad I kept this and didn't declutter it. It is so beautiful. I can't wait till I put the setting spray on it and just see it melt into the skin. For brows, I don't have a lot of products that I like keep on hand. It's a lot of the like same things I always have. I say that as I pull all of my brow pencils, which... <laughs> all right, which one have I not used recently? I haven't used my Benefit or Give. Uh, I have Huda Beauty. So I don't like the Huda Beauty that much just because it's so thin. And I always break off the point. Look how tiny it is. I think I'm gonna use my Benefit. I haven't used this in a while. I have shade three. I probably actually need like 3.5, four. But I've been using a lot of like the Emily Heath brow powder. I also use, usually use the Precisely Mine, the pointed one, to line out my brows before I fill them all in with this one, which is the Goof Proof. Because you don't have to be as precise with this one. You can just kind of draw around with it and it'll fill it in. Hence the Goof Proof. It's definitely on the warmer side. Now to get where I need this to be at, I always rest it against my nose and I find the pointed end and push up. And there's the beginning of my brows. I'm gonna go finish my brows off camera because <laughs> this is gonna take a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I also did my eyeliner off camera because I forgot and it's not something I do on camera, but I just, I used my Kaja Wink Stamp liner. I did the long ones which I really like how they turn out. And I did not do brows because I wanted to do those on camera with you. So I have the Merit Brow Gel. This one's actually in the shade brown. So on top of like the warmness, I like to like spoolie the brown brow gel through and then I'll go back through with clear. I do like Merit's brow gel. It's really quite easy to just kind of fluff through the brows. Especially when, because I get mine tinted, when the tint starts to wear off and my brows look almost like brownish blonde and mostly blonde, this one comes in in a bind. And then for brow gel, ooh, I haven't used Wander Beauty in a while. This one's in clear. I like their spoolie. It is actually like cone-ish. I've really been impressed with Wander Beauty and I have quite a few of their like eyeshadow palettes and was it their mascara that I really like, the Mile High? Like, they have some nice products, I just don't use them that often. For lashes, I grabbed out of my drawer and I forgot to film it, the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. Okay, doing my mascara, I can see that my concealer has sank into my lines and it doesn't, the one size doesn't normally do that. So I'm wondering if it's either the primer, the foundation, and then for lips. I didn't film grabbing lips because I needed to declutter those drawers and I couldn't even open some of the drawers, like my lip gloss, it's just, it's bursting. I need to declutter it. Probably gonna get rid of a lot of my, um, lip glosses. So I grabbed the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Avi. 
And then I also grabbed the Gen X Luxe Blur lipstick from ColourPop, which is really pretty. I love the lippy pencils from ColourPop. They just go on so nicely. I think this is a little bit lighter than the lip liner, but it'll be okay. Oh yeah, this is more pinky, the other one is more brown. I kinda wanna look, grab a lip gloss. Okay, I grabbed this one from Hourglass. It's the shade Unreal. I love the smell of them, it's like minty. One thing I just realized I forgot was setting spray. So the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. It may seem like a lot, but um, it is such a fine mist. I tend to do this before I put my lips on because then I don't get lip gloss or whatever all over my face. Let me go fix my hair and I'll be back with the final look. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I'm not impressed with my skin. I think it might be this. It could be the elf underneath it. It's just... It's not my favorite. I do like how my eyes turned out. They're very scarab fall vibes, which I I like browns. I like pops of color with my brown shades. I really like how this turned out. And I'm actually kind of annoyed that I waited so long to try out this palette. What is wrong with me? I need to dive more into the eyeshadow palettes that I can finally see. I, I complained about it last time, trying to like dig everything out, go through when I did my declutter, and it was just, it was a thing. Which is why when, I think it was two declutters ago, one of you guys had suggested bookshelves, and I was just trying to find the right ones. And when I found the ones from Ikea, which when I do a filming room tour, whatever, I will link them for sure. I might link them on this one too if you're interested in it because I wanted something with glass so I could see what I had. Whereas I feel like with my drawers, everything, it, it just, it gets shoved in there. No one wants to see that. But this is really pretty and aesthetically pleasing when I have the eyeshadow palettes placed and you can see the spines and the titles and colors of the palettes themselves. That is, for me, aesthetically pleasing. Anyways, that's a whole nother tangent. I do like how my makeup turned out otherwise. I like the highlighter that I reached for again. My lips look, I like them. I love the lip gloss on top of lipstick and lip liner right now. It just, it makes my lips look so juicy. Who is that girl? Because I don't put lip gloss on when my hair is down because it just like sticks and glides all across my face. But you guys, that is it for this video. I could blather on forever. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.